of Federal Road Safety Sector Commander uh, Ogun State, Clement Oladele, joins me now to talk more on this. Thank you for joining us on yeah. TVC Breakfast this yeah, good morning. morning. Good now, morning, negotiations yes. yesterday, it was agony for most people trying to find their way home after the rains. And then this morning, we had uh, issues or reports about two accidents happen, happening on the road. And according to the revised highway code, it is so difficult driving um, during the raining seasons. Why is that? Yeah, once again, good morning viewers and uh, Ramadan Karim yes. to our Muslim viewers. I think uh, in FRAC, the way we look at it is that we do classification. Okay. It's not only during the rains. Oh. We, we, we normally call them uh, extreme driving conditions. Okay. So there could be maybe fire outbreak. There could be even some are weather related, maybe there's a flooding, there's also maybe you have rains as we had yesterday. B because this is season, this is season for rain, and so we should expect that rains is, are, are supposed to fall. And when they fall, it's natural. All we need to do is just to be safe, to make sure that. And in, uh, in FRC, we normally, because safety is key, we yes. normally advise people that the best thing is remain indoors. Don't come really? out. But people have to go about their businesses. I know, I know. But if you don't, if there are some people also that were stuck yesterday, they couldn't even get to work. They mm. had to turn back home. So the best thing is that just remain indoors if you cannot go out. But if you must go out or you're already out and the rain met you, then you have to take some certain safety precautions. What are One of the first things you have to do is that you have to ensure that you are safe wherever you are. When and you the best safe, way... You need yes, to take it one I'll, after yes, the other. Break it's, it it's, down. It's, when you say it's, safe, it's, how do you mean? It's uh, stages. So yeah. the first stage of safety is that wherever you are, you're supposed to stop yeah. and park your vehicle far up from the road, not even by the road shoulders, because if you are the, by the road shoulders, there's a tendency that another vehicle that is coming that lacks visibility might just run over you. That means you're not safe, even if you parked your vehicle. So the best thing is that move your vehicle far away from the road and then go to where, if possible, maybe another building, maybe you have uh, maybe a, a a petrol station en route, or maybe there is a road safety office uh, en route, or even maybe there is a police station. The best thing is to move there. But if you must continue your, your journey, maybe you cannot stop. You should be sure that your wipers they are very good, especially the blades. If the blades are weak, it will not be effective for you to have visibility. Because when there is extreme weather condition like that, the first thing that suffers is the visibility. And when visibility is blurred, is poor, there's no way you can continue your trip. And when you attempt to continue the trip, you will not be a danger to yourself, but to all other road users. Mm -hmm. So that's why the, the first thing we tell people is that try as much as possible not to make the trip. Mm -hmm. And even before you go, because you know that this is the period for, for, the, for, rains. for the rains, then the best thing is that you have to listen to weather mm -hmm. advice. All right. Look we, for we, traffic advisory also from FRC, the traffic radio, so that you... Those are part of the things you can do, okay. immediate steps for you to be safe. Very important steps there, Clement Oladile, uh, Sector Commander, Open State. Thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, all right, so now we are told, okay, we have more time, so perhaps you might want to tell us more uh, precautions that drivers should uh, take. Okay, and, and another thing you have to do is that if you have to continue the trip, is to make sure that you don't have to wait till the day you're going to make the trip for your vehicle to be roadworthy. Mm. One of the things is that your tires should be good. If the treading of your tires are weak, that is why we encourage people that this period, not even because of the rains, you have to make sure that the grips are good. Because if you lack traction, there's a tendency that when you do hard braking, because during rainy season, the roads are slippery. And because they are slippery, the moment you, you apply your brakes, there's a tendency that mm. your vehicle will swerve. And most of that times, we advise people that when you are going, even though the road traffic regulation prescribed that you have to drive towards your right, but try as much as possible. Because it's possible that maybe the cabs are already washed away by the rains and then you might not see very well. Move a little bit to the center of the road. Not that you stay in the middle of the road, but as much as possible to the white light towards your left so that you'll be sure that your vehicle will keep on going. And then even when you see pools of, of waters, on the road surface, do not attempt that you should just maybe approach it and then go smoothly with it. Because there's a tendency that there, are, there, could, be, there could be waters that have blocked that particular portal that on, on that particular stretch of road. Even if it's a road that you're even familiar with, that you use every day, 
mm. but because of the of the rains, it's possible that it must have, might have even washed away the road surface. And then you try as much as possible when you are going that you watch out for there could be debris on the road because of the rainfall. They might have washed off some some debris from other other or the other side of the street. Even the one that is even most dangerous is there could be falling trees, and some of these trees could be electric poles, and you will not want to be electrocuted or maybe to suffer shock when you are going. So when you take some of these precautions, and that's why, like I still go back to this, the best safety precaution is that don't make the trip. Don't make the trip. Then if you have to make the trip, then ensure that you are safe, others around you are safe, and those who share the road also with are safe. Now, an, an, another issue I would like for you to talk about is speed limit. What, for, for periods like this, it is most, uh, what would you advise? Yes, because that's the next thing I'm going to go to. Normally, when you, you, in the highway code or national road traffic regulations, you see speeds that are prescribed for various driving conditions. But during rainy seasons, the speed we recommend is what we call common sense speed. Mm. This is the speed that you don't find in national road traffic regulations or even in the highway code. And when you are going at construction zones, we advise that you should not go beyond 50 kilometers per hour. Or if you are at a school zone, maybe where school children are, or a very busy road that people are crossing very close to maybe pedestrian cross, the, you, you should go at 30 kilometers per hour. But when you are driving during the rains, it is you that is going to decide that the speed at which I'm going is not safe enough for me and for other road users. And normally what we advise people is that when you see the vehicle that is going ahead of you, you try to follow it at a safe distance. Don't move too close because the vehicle could suddenly break. I might not even have brake lights. And you might not see what is happening ahead of you on time before you run into that vehicle. What we advise people is that there is a, there is a it's more like a, a nursery rhyme that people are supposed to, to do, you, you keep at least minimum of four second distance from the vehicle ahead of you. You could just ask yourself, am I, you, you look at the vehicle ahead of you and then you look at a stationary object. At the moment you see that stationary object ahead of the, the vehicle ahead of you, then you can start reciting that am I moving too close or am I far off? Am I doing it safer and saner? If you complete reciting this, because it takes you about four seconds to recite it, if you complete reciting it before you get to that object that the vehicle reached, the vehicle ahead of you reached, then that means that you're moving too close to that vehicle, then you need to adjust and give enough distance so that paraventure the vehicle ahead of you stops or maybe it slows down, it will be easier for you to also slow and then you don't collide with the vehicle ahead of you. So that you are safe, the vehicle ahead of you also is also safe. Another issue, you know, Lagos is prone to flooding. What is, you talked about extreme weather conditions. What should drivers do when they find themselves in flooded areas? Uh, the, the, like I still said, I will still go back to it because that is what safety precaution is all about. It's just even aviation also. When it is raining, they don't advise pilots to take off or to land. So it's the same thing also. Try as much as possible. But if, like I said, you're already into it and there's no way you can stop, then reduce your speed. And if possible, vehicles that are ahead of you, I will advise the vehicle that is the lead vehicle to stop. They can come out if the rain is not much at that, at that time. Maybe it has stopped or it's still drizzling. They should come out and then they can use a stick or use an object that they can use to, to, to fill the depth of that particular a road ahead of them because it's possible that maybe it, it could be a bridge ahead and the bridge has been washed off or maybe the, the water level has risen above the bridge i don't even know maybe the bridge is still there mm -hmm. the worst thing you can do is to attempt to just go and then find yourself inside the inside the, the pool of water it's not advisable it is better everybody could stop until and then you can call for help you can call frc top free number one two two help can come to you you can call the national emergency number one one two and help can easily come to you by emergency officers. All right. Please do repeat the number once again for the viewers. The FRC toll free number is 122. 122. Then the national emergency number is 112. Now the FRSC Ogun State Sector Commander Clement Oladili joins me now in the studio to give us some level of enlightenment of uh, what to expect uh, this season. It's good to have you join me this morning. Yeah, good morning, Mike. Now the rains morning, are sir. here and uh, as it is, every year when the rains come like this, Usually, we see different uh, reactions on the way. What extra caution should any motorist take this time around? The key word is safety. Okay. The key word is that you should be safe. 
and not only you, even other you share the road with, they should be safe. And the best thing in FRS is that we tell people is that don't go out when it is raining. Hmm. If you're in the office, remain there. If you're at home, you've not gone for, to work, just call your employer. Maybe the worst that will happen to you is that maybe they could give you one day suspension from work or maybe ask you to pay for the day you didn't come. But for those that are on the emergency services, of course, you cannot afford to. Maybe you work in TVC or you work in the hospital or with FRS, you cannot call your boss and say, I cannot come. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that I, would and be I disastrous. Think, yes, yes. <laughs> and I think the, 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 the issue is that we, we, we need lots of training. We, if, with adequate training, it becomes easier for you to know what to do. And that is why we commend you for doing this program so that mm. people can just okay. know what they need to do. Because if you cannot afford to, to remain at home or in your office or where it is safe and you have to make the trip, then you have to be extra cautious so that you are safe, so that you can drive, you have opportunity to drive another well, One central thing that, is, uh, that can destroy a lot of things is speed. Yeah. If, if everybody, you know, walks or drives within the st speed limit, even if anything happens, it, it can still be controllable. Talk to us about the issue of speed limit and even devices. Well, I think even now when you look at, uh, not even in Nigeria, globally, mm -hmm. the, the, the basic cause of uh, crashes is uh, speed, excessive speed. It, it could be speed, maybe inappropriate speed when you're in the... In, in, maybe in an urban area, you are supposed to, to, to do 50 kilometers per hour, you are doing 60, or you are even doing 70 or, or 80, is not appropriate. Then also, if you are on the urban area, maybe you have a car, it's express road, you are supposed to do 100 kilometers per hour, but you are doing beyond that. There's a tendency that it is a crash that is waiting to happen. Because when so, 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 something happens suddenly, it becomes very difficult for you to control the vehicle. And when you, when you lose control of the vehicle, definitely it's going to result into a crash. Mm -hmm. and during um, uh, special conditions like when, there's, when it's raining, then it be, the, the road is slippery, it's wet, and the moment you try to apply brakes, it becomes more difficult for you to even control the vehicle. Mm. And for even vehicles that do not have ABS, anti-lock braking system, it even becomes more difficult for you because what happens with ABS is that if you have a vehicle that, does not, that lacks ABS uh, facility, the moment you, you, you brake, it will lock your steering, your wheels, mm. and that is why sometimes when there is a crash, you'll be wondering why is it that this man cannot see? Why is he going to inside the bush or into the, into the, uh, of the, the steering the, must yes, have locked. Must have locked. That's why we advise you when you match the brake, you, you release the brake so that the, the wheels will be opened. But for ABS, you don't need to worry. The moment you, you, you match the brake, you can still control your, your wheels because the, the, the wheels are not locked. Okay. So the, the issue of speed is that if you don't cut your speed, it becomes very difficult for you to control the vehicle. And for, for us, even uh, during rainy season, we don't normally prescribe this the speed you should use, but we advise you that use common sense speed. Common sense speed is the speed you will not see in the national. But common sense, regulation. common sense to someone is might be is might be different from common sense to another person, but depending but you, on whatever. You will, know, you will know. You will know yourself. You know that's why they call it common sense speed. Okay. But if you are in a construction area, you don't go beyond 50 kilometers per hour. If you are in a school environment where children are crossing, then you should not go beyond 30 kilometers per hour. So that if anything happens, even if the, the, the and the whole essence is that if the vehicle should collide with uh, a pedestrian that is trying to cross the road, mm. there's a, a great likelihood that the pedestrian will survive, he will not die. Okay, now talk to us about passengers. What role they have to play in all of this because they are the number one check and balance originally to the driver or to a driver who may not want to, or who may want to take caution into his own hands. Uh, unfortunately, most of our passengers here on this, this side of the divide, I don't know, I don't know why. Most of them, they, that is one of the, the things we, we preach to them that they should do, but they seem not to do it, except some very few ones. And uh, you even see a situation whereby, and, and, and they say in, um, that the customer is king. Mm -hmm. Because if you're a passenger and you're going to, to take a bus, a, a, a fair uh, taking bus, there is no way that you will not be the, the king. You are, you are, because you are the customer, you are going to pay. Even if the man is taking you for free, you, it's still your responsibility to tell him that he should not lead you to, to the graves. And because of that, when it is your responsibility as a passenger, when you are going to board a vehicle, you, he doesn't take anything from you. You inspect the tires. You, if the man doesn't want to go, you can always uh, take alternate uh, uh, vehicle. Mm. And when you even enter the vehicle, be, be, be sure of your surrounding. Know what is happening, the attitude of the driver. Maybe you notice that the driver was drunk. 
before you started the vehicle, then okay. you, you, you or, can or you under some kind of vehicle. influence. Yes. Okay. All right, we have to leave you here now. Clement Oladili, the FRSC Sector Commander, Ogun State. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you.